Okay, bear with me here for a minute, guys. I need to explain how it actually works. We're gonna have to give me a few here because I don't have two uh, monitors. I just have a laptop a decent bit away from me because of the new desk I have. Yay! <laughs> I need to be able to hear how the game sounds compared to my voice. Because I found out with uh, Melody's Escape, it didn't go so well. Um, hello. I am live, you son of a bitch. I'm just gonna say, YouTube, I am actually live. Come on. Alright, let's see, is this doing any better? Hey, look, Mike is doing better. Sorry guys, bear with me. This is being a pain in the ass. I think I'm gonna try it and see what happens. Okay, we're in game. Let's load up the actual thing. Shit. I have to remember how to do everything now. 
Oh god, my game froze. Son of a bitch. Hello? Game, why you gotta be like that? See, OBS is capturing it fine. My actual game is not. Well, this is a predicament. Hold on, guys. Technical difficulties. <sighs> gotta relaunch. Son of a bitch. That's what I get for not knowing what I'm doing yet. Ghost dreams. Wait for it. Wait for it. We're almost there. I need a fucking capture card for this shit. Oh my god. AMD Gaming Evolved. Uh, I'm an NVIDIA man, but thanks. <sighs> Glorious water. And connecting. Wait for it. This is gonna take forever because of, uh. Okay, let's see how everything's working on stream. It says that I ain't doing too great. I don't honestly know what I expected. Let's try to load it back at 360. I don't want to waste all the damn internet, but... Let me test audio. Oh wait, gotta unmute. Let's try to load it back at 360. It's all the damn internet. But. Let me test audio. Oh wait, gotta unmute. Let's try to load it back at Okay. Now it's replaying because I'm smart. Whoops. Okay, guys. Just gonna wait a couple of seconds and hope that's done. Meanwhile, let's get ready to play. I loaded everything up last night, set up everything. Actually, you know what? Just for fun, let me show you guys what I'm running graphics-wise. We're running... It, this is in the description in terms of, like, resolution, but... We're running 2560 by 1440, um, exclusive full screen, which is their term for, like, full screen, instead of windowed borderless, because reasons. I don't have VSync on, don't need it. Um, VSync interval doesn't matter, don't have it on. Uh, HDR I can't turn on for whatever reason, but I don't care. Gamma correction, don't have it on. Well, I just have it normal because it looked fine last night. Level of detail. Now, this is the fun part. This is just me being me. I like things to look pretty. So I got ultra level of detail. SMA, or SMAA, anti-aliasing. High texture quality. Anisotropic 16x filtering, which honestly I could probably put down to like 4 or 8x and be beautifully good. SSAO, screen space ambient inclusion. Meh. Sure. <laughs> I mean, it still runs between 70 and 90 FPS. I don't care that much. Uh, shadow maps, ultra, shadow resolution, high. I mean, we're running, like, ultra, basically. Highest you can get. Yes, I'm using mouse and keyboard. The .75 sensitivity was doing pretty well. Uh, key bindings are set up pretty well. I need to actually switch something real quick. Don't, pu don't freeze my damn game again, please. I don't want that. But I need... 
that. Hey, look, we're good. It didn't freeze. <laughs> um, I have a Razor Naga, so for anyone who doesn't know what that is, it has 12 programmable buttons on the side of it in a thumb grid, and after going in and figuring out the controls really quick, I set it up so that I could actually use the thumb grid effectively. So, yeah. And, uh, checking on stream quality, making sure we're good there. It's been 10 minutes of fuck all. Doing good. I think we're doing good. Uh, let me just send out something I should have done, you know, way earlier, but I'm smart. I need to load up a thing real quick. Send that in before phone freaks out. Let me not really care about the Twitter link because no one checks my Twitter anyway, so... I should care, but like, I don't. Oh well. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna do it real quick. Don't crash on me again, please. Um... It me. Don't waste my internet, please. I'm running on very limited internet. Which sucks, but welcome to, uh... Welcome to having sucky internet in Ohio. Alright, get that in there. Tweet. Good. Uh, I think, think we're doing good. Close. Exit out of that. Stream help is still looking pretty good. Got everything up and running. Now, Hitman, don't freeze. Oh, I thought you were about to be a saucy son of a bitch. Alright, so. Let's get into it. Just so you know, I have all of the missions. I haven't played them. I've seen the whole game. But I'm going to play through the whole story, um, focusing per stream, like, one thing at a time. So we're going to go all the way up through uh, right here. Well, no, right here. Because this is technically the prologue. And we'll get through Call Me 47, and then tomorrow, hopefully will be the showstopper, which is Paris, with the secrets of the global elite going through next day, World of Tomorrow, and so on, up until we're done with the main missions and the main story. But then I plan on going back and trying to 100% the actual game, which is not easy, but, you know, Nope, not that. Uh, career, let me... Yeah, here it is. All of the challenges. Now, the elusive targets, I'm not sure I'll be able to do because I don't know if you can go back and try them. Um, if you missed the time, I literally just bought this game yesterday, but that's besides the point. So we have Prologue, 43 challenges. This is going to be multiple, multiple streams of just trying things. Showstopper, the one that's going to take forever is... I think it's Showstopper. Yeah, 103. It's absolutely ridiculous, but oh well. I think the ones, and this is in all of them. That's not it. Silent Assassin suit only. This is literally the hardest thing ever, in theory. <laughs> Complete whatever mission, only kill the targets, don't have any bodies found, don't get spotted, and if you're detected by cameras, erase or destroy the evidence, and do it all in your suit, because fuck you. It, it's gonna suck, but it's good. Uh, yeah, we got discoveries, feats, targets, which obviously you get just from beating it. Uh, master vampire, which is something interesting, and secret Santa, which is 
also interesting. And that's just for one of them. Anyway, enough of that story. Let's start up the arrival. I'm gonna shut the hell up now. And we're gonna watch a nice cutscene. After I walk in somewhere. Play. Gotta say, for how big the levels are, this loads pretty quickly. Pretty nice. Don't have to wait too long. Here we are. So this is the actual prologue in here. I'm going to need to check sound signatures again, make sure I'm sounding good. Uh, it says that someone else is watching. Ooh, three people are watching. Hey, people watching. Oh god, the stream is dying slowly and fast. Whoops. Alright, people watching, if you could, could you tell me if I'm loud enough over the game sound? I am looking at chat. I'm also pausing the damn stream so that it can be up and running good. Uh, okay, my phone has apparently been going off. Whoops. Uh, let's see. Yeah, anyone in stream, can you send a chat message telling me if the audio is good. I know that the stream health is abysmal. I can see that now. But I don't know what to do about that. Unless I try streaming this at 720p. And then it becomes a question of what the fuck are you doing. But I might have to do it. Hmm... Got nothing coming up in chat. Okay. So, guys, stick with me here. I think I'm going to end the stream and restart. Okay, we got a message saying you're good on sound. Great. Uh, we're going to switch the stream over as much as I would like it to be at 1080p 30fps. It's going to have to be at 720p 30fps just because my internet is killing it. Quite literally, it is destroying the damn stream. So, I'm going to end stream and restart after I set the settings to 720.30. Uh, sorry, it's going to be a downgrade in quality, but it you should actually be able to watch the whole thing, which will be lovely. So, be Hey, look, we're back, and this time, we should be doing better question mark? Uh, let, let's... Oh god. Oh, I thought it froze again. Every time. Every goddamn time. Um, let's see. We are back up. Back up and running good. I think the stream health should actually cooperate now. Because I need to use a lot less encoding. Mmm... Let's see if I can... W one of my friends wanted to actually, like, see this game in action, so I'm gonna just tell him that. Back up. Stream is back up. I should also tweet that out real quick. Uh... Stream is back up. Smoother. Had to go to 720p 30 FPS. Alright, so, sorry guys, phone's going off because I'm a douche and keep my sound on, unlike most people. And I think we're good. Let's get right back into it. Um, I don't know if this will keep as one continuous stream. If not, check the one before this for like 
15 minutes of absolute bullshit setup. It's good. Uh, here we are. Actually in game now. Looks absolutely amazing. Got my keybinds all set up, ready to go on the mouse, and let's go. So, for anyone who's not familiar with the Hitman series, like my friend who I know is watching, um, who were Orange Stream Health, better than. So we're loading into the actual tutorial. Alright, so, actually in the game now. Now, like I said, I have seen the whole game. I actually know a fair bit about how to go through things. But, right now, we're just going to follow the tutorial that is set up so that you basically can't fail unless you're an idiot. Let me make sure my keybinds are all up and running. Yep, we're good. Okay. Understood. Alright, there you go, jackass. Uh, we're just gonna come over here, get that nice climb through. Alright, took him out, get the disguise, alright, so, as I was saying before the cutscene started, let me tell you guys who may not know anything about the Hitman series what it actually is. It's actually uh, being a Hitman, which is basically someone who gets a contract to take out or kill someone else, and they follow through with it. In this case, you are a professional Hitman named 47, which you will find out in the later parts of this stream, and he is a master assassin, basically. He never fails, and he's incredibly good at what he does. And I think this game 
out of the ones that I've seen, is actually very good. Um, I could play other ones if you want. I kind of try to be a little quiet during those parts because it is technically the story. Yes. Go follow Calvin, you son of a bitch. Alright. Follow it up. And this is all the tutorial is. It's very, like, straightforward. Step back, please. Describe yourself as a yacht crew member with convenient placing. Now, they want you to throw an item, so I'll do it because whatever. Okay, bye. Fine. And we'll just nicely disguise, drag, and drop. Now we got this set up here, we're going to switch to what I prefer, which is the fiber wire, which, I mean, if you've ever thought of a hitman, you think of the people who wrap a wire around someone's neck and basically just choke them out, that is exactly what this is, and it's great. <laughs> uh, gotta go upstairs now, and yeah, the tutorial is just very straight through. You don't really get to choose how you do anything. Yep. So, yeah, I'm just being quiet during that because it is still part of the story. Um, now, when I go through the free form next after this, I'm not going to be quiet during that because we've heard it and I don't care. Just continuing on. I don't know what to say during the tutorial. It's very boring and bland. Uh. That is a really annoying quote. Yep, automatic saving. Don't want to save. It's kind of hard to screw up this. Alright, so opening, getting out gun, and screw off. Conceal. We out, boys. Uh, hi, Gmer IL. I 
Gamer Illinois? I, d I don't know what to say about that one. How's it going? See in the chat there. I love Hitman 2. This is a amazing game. Or an amazing game. Now, you'll notice down there, he, he can see me. So we're just gonna nope out of there. Once I get into free form missions, I will actually be talking a bit more and showing you what's going on. Telling you how it all actually works. Ooh, hello to the three people watching. Good to have you. Since I actually got into the game now. So we're just gonna nonchalantly sneak back here. Come over. That's my old training clothes in disguise. Take those. And... We out, boys. Oh, drop the watcher. Damn. <laughs> oh well, it's good. I'm just doing this for fun, basically. And end the mission. Good job. I know how to follow instructions. Woo! I much prefer the free-form missions once you get into them. But I felt that it was necessary to show that. Alright, so now we're into the part of Hitman that's actually fun. Freeform training, yeah. Before the final test, here's all those challenges I was talking about earlier. Got plenty of them. Classic Hitman. Assassinate him with fiber wire. I like that one. But, I actually plan on doing this one. Disguising myself as Mr. Norfolk and meeting with the target. Because... There are different disguises that you can do that people don't, like, know, basically. Um, in this case, Calvin Ritter, your target, doesn't actually know what Mr. Norfo Norfolk... God, his name is a weird one. They don't actually know what he looks like. Um, a rather interesting thing, and that's him right there. But... Yeah, so if you disguise yourself as him, you are basically free to roam, and you can get right up to Calvin Ritter and kill him. So, it's a good time, and it's the one that I want to do the most during this, so we're just going to... I don't know, I might... Might go with the same entrance strategy instead of going over there and trying to take out the cops, because that's just a pain that I don't feel like going through. Get that nice crouch. Come up here. Take him out. Also, I'm sorry for the keyboard noise. Very loud. Very not fun. Disguise real quick. Hit the wrong button. Now, you do want to drag bodies and hide them, because if you don't, they will be discovered, which is not good for you, basically idea of a hitman is to never be seen, get in, get out, get done. Um, if you get spotted, people become alert. If anyone sees what you're wearing, you can't wear that any longer. Um, makes it rather hard to get around. Now, the people with the white dots above their head do notice you. Uh, if you're wearing, like right now I'm a mechanic, that mechanic will notice me. If I open up my instinct vision we can see that no one oh wait no 
he over there will notice me right there and that's it no one else has white dots above their heads that I see so we're good in that front and you just have to avoid him don't be seen by him don't worry about it we're gonna come up here find I want to find the rat poison I don't know if I will though I may just have to follow Mr. Norfolk and hope that he goes somewhere that I can get to him easily. Because part of the fun of having seen this before, I know that Norfolk takes a drink from that wine glass. Even though he says he can't have wine before six, which is a very adamant rule he must follow. Bullshit. <laughs> so he does actually come in here, get a drink, and walk away. But, if you can use rat poison, you can actually get him to go to the bathroom and drown him. Uh, or just knock him out if you are going for the idea of don't kill anyone. Other than who you need to. But, I have to find him. Oh, there he is. So he comes up, comes in. The problem is... I don't think the rat poison is in here anywhere. I think I know where it is, but it's a hassle to go get. So, we're just going to wait and see if I can follow him somewhere else. Right, so it's fruit juice. Whoops, whatever. Uh, follow him around. I'm pretty sure the person he gets is more of a bodyguard. We're just gonna kind of nonchalantly follow him. That was an interesting sound. I could push him, but the people there would notice me, and it would not end well. So we're just gonna wait to see what he does, because I don't actually know the path he takes right now. Uh, comes back around. I really want to do the Calvin, or, or disguise herself as Norfolk and then take out Calvin, because that seems like the more fun way. Oh, he takes a second drink. Ooh. How long does he keep this up? Does he just go back and forth? If he does, I'm gonna go get the rat poison. Damn it. I don't actually know if they do anything. No problem. Good to have you, man. Uh, let's follow him. Yeah, he's going up there. Screw it. We're gonna just take it out in a more interesting way. Screw this guy. Disguise. Drag and drop. Or dump. But yeah, thanks for sticking around, Aaron. Good to have you, man. Uh, this should be a VOD later if you want to come back and watch like the whole stream. So, good there. Let's come on in. I hate that the stream health is red, but whatever. Mm, stand up. I think we're just going to follow a similar thing. Except, yes, hi. Uh, come up here. Is the rat poison up here? I feel like you can tamper with that computer, too. But, I don't care enough. 
Hold on. Let me let me check the phone. Okay. Okay, so Calvin is in there right now, which is a bit of a pain. We're just gonna We're gonna take him out the same way for right now. What in the hell did she just say? Yeah, we're just gonna do the same type of thing real quick. Okay. Yeah, I don't care, we're just gonna do it that way. Is it the way I want to do it? No. But, oh well. We're actually gonna go have fun. Run up here. And we out by helicopter, boys. I keep thinking it's E to do stuff like that. It's not. It's G. I don't know. Don't feel like changing it. Yay. Mission accomplished. Woo. Fun. I really wish I would have done it the way I wanted to, but I could do more training but this is already going to be a really long part because I have a whole nother mission to get through. So, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll come back and try that again, doing it my way. I'll wait for it to load in because it has another talk. Alright, so, press F1 for Intel. Ooh, what's this say? Uh, Train Director Eric Soders is a legendary Cold War era ICA assassin, considered the best of his generation. However, he has the he has grown reactionary and paranoid and considers you a security risk to the ICA. By basing your final exam on his own legendary 1979 mission, he is stacking the odds unfairly against us, hoping that you will die in the attempt. Our only chance is to win, and if you happen to outshine Soder's own performance, it can only be considered poetic justice. So, this is getting back into the actual story of Hitman um, and Agent 47 here. No one knows who the fuck he is. This dude literally just kind of appeared and was like, Hey guys, how's it going? Doing good. <laughs> um, literally, there's like nothing on him. The dude's a huge anomaly to everyone. And that's what has Soder so worried. He's like, we, the, the dude doesn't have a weak point. It, it, there's no family ties. There's no nothing. It, he doesn't have like a brother or sister or anything. Dude just kind of appeared out of thin air. Like, like the cutscenes that the Earth just spat him out, and pretty interesting. Now, this is actually my first time playing this, so I'm going to do that beautiful third-person look around, which, you know, doesn't work in anything ever. 
we got this guard over here that guard in there problem is he's watching him and there's 50 billion guards in there it only outlines some of them but you can see you got one two three four in that building well one's sta standing in the doorway yeah not a good time we're going to come over here I know you can hop the fence right there being a mechanic would work I think we're gonna nonchalantly yep conversations it's basically an opportunity Okay, opportunity revealed. Yes, I do want to follow this. <laughs> yeah, this is another one of those ones that I want to do because it just seems fun. And this time we have the opportunity revealed to us and I can track it. So we're going to track that quite nicely. Get a security guard disguise, which is right there. Change cover. See, they, they ain't idiots. They know what's up. Gotta wait for that guy to turn around so I can take out this guy. It's a good time. Down you go. Alright, come on. Drag the body. Wait, opportunities can guide you through the world with waypoints. Yeah, just keep the waypoints on it. Oh god, why'd you do that? I ain't getting spotted because you want to be a stupid game. Load that up. Dump him, and we out, boys. So, using instinct, we can check around. No one's going to notice or care. Hey, how's it going? He just notices that a guy's gone. It's good. Now that guy won't notice me. That was the thing above his head, you sneaky bastard of a game. Ah, got him up there. Investigate the jet safety protocol. Let's just check who all's gonna notice me. I know one of these guys can notice you. Or am I wrong? No, I think that's if you pick the other guy. The security guards don't notice shit. They're like, yeah, no, we're good. Gee, examine this. View intel. What do we got? Fighter jet safety protocol. According to the safety protocol, Jasper Knight is required to do a safety check before takeoff. The protocol, which is performed by certified airplane mechanics, includes a test on the onboard ejector seat. Yeah, we're killing this guy by ejector seat, and I don't feel bad about it. Challenge completed. Fast and low. Plus, doing these, I do get challenges, which will shave off some time for the 100% of the game. Yep, you're going down, boy. Please, no! Yeah, no, you're... you're... Nobody notices a grease monkey. Nice. Dump a guy. 
I need to get that wrench. Was there a wrench? There wasn't a wrench. I need to get a wrench. Now, they will notice me. Which sucks, but welcome to this game. Nothing goes as you would like it to. I need a wrench, though. I know that. Uh, there it is. It's like somewhere. Yeah, you can conceal it. It doesn't matter because you're, you know, a normal technician. You could have a wrench out. The problem lies in doing this undetected. Nope, gotta walk around. Okay, come up here. Okay. Now we could literally just sit here and wait. Um, on the mini-map down there, you can see the target is above me. He's actually doing something up there. I don't remember what, but I want to wait this out and watch him die by ejector seat. Because if you listen to those guys over there, I'm pretty sure it's those guys over there, they'll say, oh yeah, we turned off the ejector seat, so what you actually just did was you turned it back on. And it's going to be a good time watching him, like, hit the roof. I just have to wait for him to come down. And as far as it goes, right now, I'm perfectly good. You see, only these two guys will notice me. No one else will, basically. He's walking around. Are you walking out? This is going to be the longest process, just waiting. Though that describes this game in a nutshell. Wait, and you will be rewarded. Or, you know, the old saying, good things come to those who wait. Here's our man. I'm pretty sure that guy uh, walking by right there is, like, if you take him out and get his costume, no one will notice you, ever. I don't even think Knight will notice you up there. And yeah, it's him just chilling there. I'm literally just sitting back and waiting. I want to watch him die by ejector seat. I've never seen anyone do it. So, which will be the nice thing about doing the 100% runs after going through it, through the main story one time. I haven't seen a solid 99% of ways to kill people. Because I've seen two playthroughs, I think, but I don't remember much of the one. I watched the Rad Brad play it literally a couple of days ago. Um, obviously he played it when it came out, but like I just sat down and binge-watched him playing the whole thing a couple days ago. And for most of the kills, he just shot him, and or he like snapped their neck. And I was like, alright, but I want to see some of these challenges, so that's what I'm doing really late into the game's life, being well after it should have ended. But I like the game. I think it's a good game. I know some people just kind of don't, but oh well. Now, I think you might be able to turn off this instinct mode if you don't like it, but as far as I'm concerned, it's a pretty good way of doing things. I prefer to just use whatever is given to me to complete a game. Meh. Plus, when I go for the uh, suit-only silent assassin, I'm gonna need... I'm going to absolutely need instinct mode. Yeah, that guy right there, if you take him out and take his costume, no one will notice you. D at all. This guy, though, really needs to come check the stam ejector seat. Come on, man. I don't know if I'm supposed to go talk to him. Or what? Because, like, I can straight up just walk up there and talk to him if I need to. He's coming around. 
I swear to God, if he just stops to have a cigarette again, I am done. You spicy son of a bitch. I think I have to actually go talk to him. So, we're... Obviously, if I just walked up the steps, that'd work. But there should be other steps over here somewhere. Again, the idea is to not get noticed by those guys in there. Yep, right here. No one else has noticed. Yeah, that guy would notice. I don't know what this does, but oh well. I need to get to Calvin R R God damn it, Jasper Knight. <laughs> I keep wanting to call him Calvin Ritter because I'm doing good. Also, I know I'm not super talkative. Whoops. Um Do they get mad if I come in here? No. I don't know if I can just like talk to him and be like, hey bro. I like listening to 47 talk, he just has a cool voice. But, alright, so, I wasted a bunch of time when I could've just done this. Now these guys are gonna be some dicks. Because... Pretty good, man. Uh, yeah, he'll notice me. He'll notice me. So this is gonna be a fun time. I should have taken him out, but... Nope. Cause see, he just stands there like a douche. He just wants to make my life difficult. Oh, shut up. Oh, sorry, mate. I have to keep him interested. I also need to make sure that this guy walks away. Oh my god, dude. Go. You are the biggest pain in the ass. Okay, we're good. I just don't know how this works, so... Okay. I'm good here. No, no one should notice me. Should be good. I can't wait to see this. Oh, 
Also Alright, that was beautiful. Kill Jasper Knight by doing that. Aw, oh, I, I feel so happy right now. <laughs> oh my god. That was lovely. I, see, things like that make this game perfect, in my opinion. Obviously, you know, not everyone's gonna believe that, but... I could just walk out of here. Theoretically. Hey guy, how's it going? See you later. We out, boys. Oh my god. Was beautiful. She always looks so smug. She's just like, yeah. Yeah, I know. I like this music. <laughs> That's why I'm being so quiet. And there's the biggest intro to the story of the game, which, I gotta say, I think the story, while slim, is actually pretty good, but you'll see more of it when we continue with the showstopper. But let me show you how the story actually plays out and tell you my actual plan for it. So, today we just went through the entire prologue, which is short and concise, but dear god, there's what? your arrival, which is literally just walk up, see this cinematic, then you get guided training, 
freeform training, which I did the same thing as Guy did because whatever. And then the final test, which I am so glad that I killed him with the ejector seat. First time I've seen that, it was amazing. Now over here, tomorrow we're going to come in with the showstopper, which takes place in Paris. Um, you have two targets in this, and from what I can gather, it's going to take a little while. Probably about as long as this whole stream did. Um, hopefully. Like I said, I want to do one per day. So, we'll see how that goes, and then we'll get to see the secrets of the global elite. Uh, day after, we'll have World of Tomorrow, which takes place in Sapienza, which is Italy, if I remember correctly. Um, again, two targets and a uh, virus that you have to destroy. And cinematic, the key. Now, these cinematics are where you get all of the actual, like, story to this game. Um, yes, you could actually just go through and watch the cinematics and then be done with the story, but where's the fun in that? Um, it also kind of plays off of what's going on in each mission. So, yeah. But yeah, this has a lot to it, and when you play through it normally, you know, it takes... Again, probably about as long as this stream, maybe a little bit longer. Um, but this is going to be hell on earth to do Silent Assassin suit only. Straight up. Because of that virus. It is the worst thing. But continuing on, next day we'll have a Gilded Cage, which has... It takes place in Marrake Marrakesh? Marrakesh? Uh, um... I forget where it's a s Middle Eastern country, uh, Morocco. Maybe that's not Middle Eastern. I don't know. Huh. Well, it takes place in Morocco. But that actually has two more targets, um, two completely opposite ends of the map. The maps in this game are ridiculously large. But. Yeah, so we'll be doing that the day after, and then we'll get to see Providence is under attack. This one, honestly, I don't think it'll take extremely long. I'm still only going to do it itself in a video, uh, or in a stream. Um, maybe I'll try to just, like, go straight through opportunities only for it or something, because from when I watched it, this one doesn't seem very long at all. Uh... The longest one is World of Tomorrow, and then this is just nothing compared to it. But yeah, we'll see Providence is under attack. Day after that, we'll come in with Club uh, 27, almost like Club 47, whoops. Um, I actually don't remember, like, I remember parts of this, and I know that it wasn't long, unless you make it long, so again, probably opportunity hunting in that stream. Um, but it's in Bangkok which is Thailand, Thailand or Taiwan? Thailand, okay. Um, I think you will... Hmm. There's either one or two uh, targets, so that'd be good. And then you get to see the Shadow Client, which is actually a very big piece of the story. Um, then we'll move on to Colorado, USA for freedom fighters and this one is when the story kicks in hardcore in these following cutscenes well you got in-game cutscene and then a cinematic and that is when the story ramps up to 11 basically so what we have here is three or four targets i don't remember which one exactly um very tense very like you can screw this one up a lot very easily but when we get there we'll see what happens maybe i'll do a little bit of opportunity hunting i think when i go through this mission my objective is just gonna be don't fuck it up see how that one goes but yeah then we get the hidden hand and old friends and oh my god this is where the story just comes in like yeah these are important to the story things like providence is under attack and everything but oh my god right here this alone is just 
the like it's the most obvious way to tell a story but it's also r done pretty well in my opinion and then we got the last mission Citus and Versus Citus and Versus I don't know but it's in Hokkaido Japan and this one is a very small map and I don't expect it to take me very long at all again probably opportunity hunting you have two targets um one of the opportunities I plan on doing already just because it's quick and easy and I like it um the other one is going to take a little bit more time but I plan on doing it too um that's my plan for Citus and Versus first playthrough. And then we get Partners then, which is basically the part that leads into, hey, we're going to have a Season 2. Which, for anyone who isn't aware of the state that Hitman is in, Square Enix, who published Season 1, basically, are in the process of, or are looking for, or maybe already found. I don't know the exact state of it right now, but they were trying to sell IO Interactive, who made this, and they're selling the Hitman property with them, so whoever picks them up, hopefully someone good that'll, like, support them, um, they were already halfway done with, uh, Season 2 last time I checked, which was a while ago so probably a little bit farther now but when they get a new publisher they'll basically be good and we'll be getting season two which i can't wait for personally i think it's gonna be great um the director of the game i think said that like everyone knows sapienza here is the high point of season one it was like the end all be all um and you said I want a season two of basically all ups. There should be no downs. It should all be sapiens in a way, even though the map should stay very different like all of these. And I can't wait for that. I'm excited. Hopefully it'll do good. I'll be down to play them, stream them. Should be a good time. Um, yeah, that's about it. This has been... A shorter stream than I would have liked it to been, especially since it was only an hour and 13 minutes. Well, we're about at an hour 14, and I've spent most of the time setting things up, having to restart the game, and talking like I am now. Yeah. Um, though the prologue was very short, um, the showstopper will be much better. There is an opportunity involving that lamp up there that I am doing at all costs tomorrow. I, I don't care if it takes me three hours, it's getting done. I want to do it. Um, so expect, depending on how things go, a longer stream tomorrow. Um, I also thought about, I don't, I can't tell if these are all the same barcode, but I have thought about getting a QR scanner or a barcode scanner and scanning them just to see if it says anything, which I think would be really cool, and I bet it does, and someone's already done it, and yeah, but, oh wait, that one, no wait, no it's not, I feel like they're all the same barcode, anyway, that's just something I want to do on my own time, um, if anything comes up, I'll like tell you guys in a stream or something, but yeah, so tune in tomorrow, we'll be going to Paris, in France, and we will be doing the showstopper. Two targets, hopefully a decently long stream, especially because I'm real determined to take out that chandelier above them on the runway there. Um, yeah, it's been a good time, guys. Hopefully see you all tomorrow. Have a good one.